to start out? You want to start? I'll start. Or we can continue with the music. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Weekly Flair, episode 27. I'm your host, James Walter, and with me, not the gothic bearded man, Chris Garcia. What's up, everybody? Wow, well, you're wearing a lot of black. I love black. Black's one of my favorite colors to wear because it goes with everything except brown and dark blue. No, it goes with everything, including brown and dark blue. You'll never see me. Says again. this guy <laughs> that's married, so. You can wear whatever you want to then. Or whatever I wanted to before. Exactly. It works out well for me so far. And now it won't matter. You like color. I just like whatever clothes I grab out of the laundry that day. So, I, whatever. Whatever you want to wear. I just assume all my clothes match because all my clothes are t-shirts and shorts. And then all my dress clothes are dress pants and polos, so... You do wear black to a lot of weddings, though. I like wearing black dress clothes because I mm. think they look sharp. And makes it look thinner. No, I just think it's sharp, you know? That's just the way it is. But this is not a fashion show. <laughs> this is a show about news and pop culture and technology and uh, kind of whatever else we feel like talking about, I oh, guess. Oh, really? Just fill it in. The show is really should be called the Chris and James Babble about interesting things of the week show. And you listen. But that's kind of long, so we went with the weekly flair instead. Yes. Chris, you have a good week? I did. It's been long, man. I'm still sore from the show on Sunday. We didn't have a show on Sunday. Not this show. Oh. Music show. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you go back to the tour? No, Warp Tour? No, I didn't follow Warp Tour, man. Oh, I went to a show yeah. in Durham. Durham? A lot of Christian artists. What was in Durham? Motorco Music Hall. We had Four Today, Gideon, Silent Planet. Mm -hmm. Good show. Don't know any of them. Good lineup. I mean, I know the band Four Today, but I don't know their songs. Oh, okay. They're amazing. So I've heard. <clears throat> I don't know. Chris. What do you say we talk about some news first? We got actually some pretty good stories. Not a lot of them. Short stories, but they're really good. Short stories are the best stories sometimes. Yeah, we won't bore you with Unless the details. Unless it's Star Wars, and then it should always be longer. Oh, definitely. Unless it's Attack of the Clones, then it shouldn't exist. Anyways. Speaking of Star Wars. So, um, what's the longest you've ever walked? Three, four I miles? I did a 5K one time. Did a 5K? I mean, I walked around uh, Disney one time all day. How, how many miles is a... Uh, Okay. Like 3.2 or something like that. Okay. So do you think that running or walking around Disneyland is... Oh, definitely was more miles. Four, five miles, six yeah. miles? Definitely walking around all day somewhere was okay. more miles walked. And is that a lot for you? Uh, we walked around New York one time all day. That that was definitely more miles. Okay. Um, I've done a lot of walking, but I've never tracked. And the longest I've ever tracked was the 5K I did. How did it No, that's not true. I've definitely... Yeah, it's probably about the... I don't know. Are you going to get a Fitbit? No. I, I have no need for that. Now, were you tired after your expeditions across New York and Disneyland not and Carolines? particularly. I mean, walking all day is kind of... Different. It's if you not hard. Shows. I mean, it's tiring, but it's not, like, exhausting, you know? Okay. Does that even make sense? Yeah, I mean... It's like the same word. I mean, I can keep doing it. My feet might hurt, my legs might hurt, but I'm going to keep going, you know? Yes. It's not like, oh my gosh, I need to sit down. I need to relax. My back hurts. Right? Exactly. But I couldn't imagine having to walk or run... 20 to 45 miles a day. No, to cover 600 something miles. 645 miles. That's a lot of miles. Gentlemen. Um, we have a, a gentleman from California, I believe up north, uh, and he was headed to the Comic Con in San the Diego. The Comic Con. The Comic Con. Also known as the San Diego Comic Con, but yes. really they could just call it the Comic Con. It's the only one of its kind. Well, it's the only one that really matters. I mean, there's other Comic Cons. But the San Diego is the big one. Are we going to one pretty soon? I mean, if you want to go next year, probably, the tickets probably sold out two years ago. Ooh. Well, I, the they probably don't sell it that early. We'll do the show here. We'll do the, the Comic-Con show here? Yes. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll go on we'll tour. We'll do Comic-Con here? We'll do it. We'll <laughs> we should go to Comic-Con oh, and do a show. Oh, okay. Now, that'll we'll be see if we can work that out. Definitely. But this guy... This guy walked there. This guy walked there. He could have flown. He probably would have been better off flying. Or a six hour drive, seven hour, eight hour no, drive. No, he would have been better off walking. You know why? Because he was just like a stormtrooper, raising money for a nonprofit organization he wants to start to honor his wife who died from pancreatic cancer. Yes. That right there is true love. Dude, the guy, his wife before she died was part of the 501st. She was a stormtrooper in the 501st. 
And so in honor of her to raise money for this nonprofit he wants to start, he wore stormtrooper armor and walked from the uh, Rancho Obi-Wan, is what it said, mm -hmm. to the Comic-Con. Yes. Yes. That's a lot of walking. That's a lot of love. Those boots were made for walking. I think he just didn't walk all over anybody. No. He, he definitely did not walk all over anybody, no. though. Hands down, though. I, I mean, I, I don't think I could have... <clears throat> I, I don't hot. think I could have done that. That's hot. Yeah. Those, those uniforms gotta be hot. Exactly. He did it through heat waves, through traffic, through storms. And, yeah. Uh, and he kept going. It's gotta yeah. be hot in there. Mm-hmm. Walking. I've been wanting. California. I've been wanting to get myself one. The you, deluxe one is like six hundred. You gotta bucks. make one. The the true five hundred first way. Make your own. How do you do that? I don't know. Three D printing. Ask the five hundred first. I'm not part of them. I might try to. Those guys are crazy. They do a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Though, but uh, no, I do not have the five hundred first in me because for one, uh, it's hot in that armor, and two, mm -hmm. you have to make it yourself because they want it to look like perfect. Hmm. They're really picky about it, actually. Wow, so you wouldn't get yourself uh, the, the Star Wars Deluxe model? I don't think that's good enough. I don't think that really? looks good enough for them. I really don't. I thought it looked really good online. Yeah, I don't think that's good enough for them. Wow. It has to be, like, perfect. I wonder how... Do you think they made... How many suits do you think they made for the movie? Uh, probably not that many, because a lot of it was probably copy and paste, but I don't know. Uh, no, they probably made a lot, because... The original movies would have not been mostly practical exactly. effects. And J.J. Abrams is doing mostly practical effects, which did you see all their practical effects that they showed at San Diego Comic-Con in the behind, behind the scenes video? Not yet. I need to. Dude, it's like four minutes worth of the just like behind the scenes of like practical effects ranging from like inside the Millennium Falcon to aliens to you name it. Were you the one that told me that there's certain ranks in the final first? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I wonder what the 501st will do for this guy. I don't know. They'll probably ask me if he wants to join <laughs> since his wife was already a member. Mm -hmm. They might, yeah, I mean... There was a bunch of, in one of the pictures of them walking behind him at the end of his march it looked like. So that's cool. That's good. So that's cool. That's really cool. And it's Star Wars. And it's anything cool. Star Wars is amazing. You know what else is amazing? Not Attack of the Clones. Well, other than that. What's that? Something else that actually matters. What's that? Giving a free house to dudes. If you had the money, would you do that? Sure. Would you buy me a house? No, because you're a bum. I gotcha. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of not bums, um, we have a man here. He's uh, famous on YouTube. YouTube famous. Watch YouTube out. Famous. I just like us. We're YouTube famous. Go I, check us out. I, Shameless plugs. I don't know his name. His name is Dude Who Does Angry Grandpa YouTube Videos. There you go. We'll give it that one. Uh, I don't really... His name's Michael. Michael. I don't, I don't endorse his videos due to the language. There's a lot of language. There's a lot of language. Um, but this guy, he plays a lot of pranks on his father who's... I mean, his father plays a lot of pranks on him too. They like to kind of prank True. back and forth. Yeah, it's back and forth. It's what it sounds like. Yeah. Now, um, like the title says, he's very angry. But he's a very angry grandpa. He is. Really, it's just his dad, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's his dad. He's just really old. He's really looking, old. He looks really old looking. So, um, uh, but he, he pulls pranks on him, and his grandpa, dad, yells and cusses. And it could be for the smallest reasons um, that I've seen in these videos. Uh, they're pretty funny, but again, language alert. It's a lot of language. <clears throat> Anyways. Like English, French, if you know what I mean. Probably just English. Ah, uh, no, French. Pardon my French. Pardon my French. <laughs> but, um, I guess this YouTuber was looking for a house to buy. Uh, which is pretty normal at his age. Him and his wife, or him and his girlfriend. Girlfriend? Yeah, him and his girlfriend. I don't know, were they actually looking for a house? Or did he, his dad just think they were looking for a house? His dad thought they were looking for yeah. a house. And so they finally closed on one. And, uh, he ended up buying the house and handed his father... He handed Angry Grandpa the keys. Yes, he did. Uh, and Angry so Grandpa thought it was a joke. He thought it was another prank, but this one was not. But it was not. Nope. So. And they were tears. I wonder if they will continue to do pranks. Of course. You think he rigged the house with pranks? No. But he definitely will in the future. He should have. He did not now, <laughs> but he will. He will. He needed a new playground is what it sounds like. This no, I, it's a really cool story. It is a cool story. It's a cool story. It probably boosted him uh, up I didn't a lot. really say why. 
in this article that we read. So I'm sure in his YouTube channel he probably talks about it. But uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, he did help him also get YouTube famous. So that yes. was nice to like, hey, thank you for helping me. Mm -hmm. Here's a house. Yeah. That's cool. And as, as we know here on the podcast, if you get enough views on YouTube, you get paid for them. That's right. We have not. Well, yeah. actually, we made a cent. Uh, we made one penny. Yeah, we made one. One really? penny. We did? Yeah, one penny. Where is it? It's, it's still in Google because they don't give it to you. They make a lot of pennies. Oh, man. Sorry. No gas this week. Oh, man. Keep watching. They know. You know what, though? That's okay. Because we're here having a good time. And so are all our viewers. And yes. that's all that really matters, after all. Because there's a lot of stuff on YouTube to watch. And you chose us. Except for... I, I, I bet you a majority of the people listening are not watching this on YouTube no. right now. They're probably like, stop talking about YouTube. <laughs> so we're done talking about YouTube now. Do you think most of the people from YouTube come from your uh, wife's channel? Mm, eh, maybe, probably. No, I don't know. She doesn't share my stuff on her channel. She has it in the little featured side, and she mentions it every now and then. Good. So. We should do a, uh, a makeup. I, try. I asked her if she wanted to be on today, because yes. she was just at BeautyCon in uh, Los Angeles, mm -hmm. over the same time as San Diego Comic-Con, and uh, she didn't want to. Mm -hmm. Actually, she never replied. I texted her while she was coming back, and she just ignored it. Gotcha. I think we should have her on, and she should teach us how to cover zits. Why? I like my zits. They're part of me. And well, I, don't hide I, them. I wasn't just talking about you. I guess we can say. Oh, that's right. You still are <laughs> trying to get a girlfriend. <laughs> oh. But even then, I didn't care. You just gotta be yourself, Ooh. Chris. You just gotta be yourself. I'm trying. I'm trying. You know, you gotta own those zits. Well, we gotta do something. We gotta have her on and have her talk. I tried to have her on, and she just blew me off. I think it's because she was just coming back, and she has a lot to catch up on, though. L jet lag. Well, that too. Stickers. And stickers. She has a lot of sticker stuff to catch up on. So we'll get her on sometime. One More than her just in the back and going, No, oh guys! <laughs> Although that's pretty funny. Yeah, it is pretty funny. We need that. We need that every show. Anyways, Chris. Real quick before we go, I did have one other thing okay. that I forgot to show you. This dude, you know how we like to talk about prosthetic arms and Yes. Stuff. This dude. They made like a Lego one. Okay? Uh -huh. He went to Denmark and talked to <laughs> Lego people. And was like, hey, what kind of cool stuff could we do with this? It's just like a Lego prosthetic, and they have like different attachments, mm -hmm. and they can like put Legos on it. Lego. Lego is the, pearl, the mm -hmm. plural of Lego. Did yes. you know that? Yeah. People say Legos, not a thing. It's Lego. Okay. Kind of like Amiibo is Amiibo. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's pretty cool. I forgot to show it to you because I didn't know like how much we were going to talk yeah. about. And... But since we have a few minutes, I didn't want to just throw that in there. It was pretty cool because we like to talk about, you know. Are they going to call it Armo? No, they'll probably call it like you know how like they had like the Lego Mindstorm. Yes. And like they have like the Lego uh, robotics. They'll call it like Lego prosthetics. No, I don't know. It wasn't a Lego guy that did it. It was just some guy had this idea and he went and talked to the people at Lego about what kind of stuff they That's could do. Legit. But it was cool. They sat and talked with him and showed him like stuff and. At least they were willing to do that. And dude, how cool would it be if you were a kid and you're like, check out my Lego arm. Yeah. You're like sitting there. And you're like. Got little like figurines and a I mean, lot of. I mean, it's uh, probably more useful stuff than that, honestly. I know people older. That's than what me. my Lego arm would look like. I know a lot of people my age or older than me get excited to go to the Lego store. My Lego arm would be like a battlefield with like a bunch of like Star Wars figurines on it, like having a fight, and I'd be like, check out my arm, and I'd be like pew pew pew. So, what's the closest Lego store here? Is that Concord? No. Is there one in Concord? No. No, there's not. There's not. I don't even know. I've been Is there a Lego store anywhere in the state? Yep. Where? Raleigh. Raleigh. We're going to Raleigh soon. I've been to the one in Orlando when we had fine arts. Yeah. In Disney? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That one's pretty cool. Yes. I like Lego. Oh, man. I also have a bunch of Amiibo that shipped finally from PlayAsia. Oh, man. So we're going to open up A Mexico? bunch of the ones. Well, I don't know. If it might take them a while to get here. Okay. But Shulk's finally on the way. Okay. Red and I, Wario, Charizard. All the ones I ordered, except for my Splatoons, which got cancelled because they're not making the three pack anymore. Mm. So I'm gonna have to go hunt down a Splatoon and Amiibos now. But I think I can buy them all individually now, so I'll just see which way is cheaper. Okay. But it's so exciting because I'll finally be able to complete my sets just in time for Wave 5, which I already have the Wave 5 ones that are coming out this month, so we're good. We for will a while. hopefully do an unveilment. Yes, I'll try to not to weeks. unbox them before. Before the show, I would no promises. Save one at least. No promises, but we'll see. All right, Chris. What do you say we take a break? Okay. 
And when we come back, we're going to talk about solar power and solar bodies. All right. So don't go away. We'll be right back.